Blade has been stuck in a developmental circle of hell since the announcement of the project years back. Issues ranging from production start time, to changing writers for the film, to pushing back release dates. Mahersha Ali will be the lead role and finally looks to be ready for production. The new director, Jan Dimaj, will take on the Marvel Studios project. Following some online buzz, it looks like the project will start production in the not too distant future. Originally, it was reported that Ali didn't really like the original script for his Blade film. The setting for the original script was set in the 1920s and featured vampires from Europe specifically. Blade is a pretty large supernatural based character. Having him introduced in the past isn't a bad idea as a whole, but many of his best issues come in the modern time periods. Perhaps the studio is attempted to connect it with Werewolf by Night almost directly. We might never know with the new writers on staff. According to Marvel Films insider Daniel Rickman, the upcoming Blade movie from Marvel Studios is aiming to start production on May 30th. This new information isn't confirmed by anybody at Marvel Studios just yet, so take this new rumor with a grain of salt. I wouldn't doubt Rickman since he's been a reliable source of info and rumors for the past couple of years, specifically when it comes down to the MCU rumors and the leaks. The film was originally going into production last November, but for some director and writer change reasons obviously, that was pushed back to summer 2023. Another issue Ali had with the original script it was apparently that it only featured two fight scenes. These might just be rumors, but Blade is a pretty good action-heavy hero. Having him only in one, two, or two fight scenes in a single film just won't do. Hopefully the new script will feature not only more, but better fight scenes as a whole. The Wesley Snipe version of Blade was pretty solid and had pretty good action scenes in my opinion. I understand Marvel might have bigger ambitions for the story and for the themes. Blade is currently slated as the last MCU film in Phase 5. I would give the fans a good action film far away from the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars story elements. Ali hasn't left the project yet and looks to have a new energy of excitement for the film. I would think pushing it back was for the best. If the quality of the film and character improve, it'll work better for the long term. Blade will be a big supernatural based character in the MCU and deserves a good place within it. I think having it at the tail end of phase 5 might be a strong move in dividing it from the excessive pressure that it might get otherwise. If it was coming out between Captain America, New World Order, and Secret Invasion or between the Thunderbolts, fans probably would have expected more easter eggs in connection to the overall multiverse saga. Perhaps, down the line, Blade will connect to the other MCU based characters. It's best to keep his solo projects quality the biggest priority. If that means disconnecting it from the MCU, at least temporarily. Rarely, it makes the Blade film a better film overall. Before I give my final thoughts, I'd like for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit that like button. Drop a sub and help me get that subscribers number going up. Blade will be in theaters September 6, 2024, placing it near Halloween time, and it might get a good seasonal boost from audiences. This is why I think the film and studio should go full comics-based Blade. Audiences will be aware of the time period and understand why there's a vampire-based MCU film coming out. But let me know your thoughts on these news and rumors. Do you like that the film was pushed back in the production time? And do you think the project can still deliver on the hype? Share those thoughts down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you stuck around long enough to drop a like like. If you did subscribe, tell me in the comments below and share your thoughts on topics like this one and others by clicking on the right side of your screen. I appreciate your support and this has been Joel from Real Talk Movies. See you soon.